Vielen herzlichen Dank, Frau Botschafterin. Thank you very much, Madam Ambassador. To, um, and for those of you who uh, were fortunate enough to arrive already on Wednesday and could take part in the city tour, three intense days are now drawing to a close. I've already received thank yous from many of you and it is my true pleasure now to be passing this on to the individuals who've been working tirelessly and diligently to make this all possible. On behalf of Ricky Burdett and Philip Rode and myself, I would like to thank in particular Vera Songwe, Fasil Georges, and Khaled Hussein from our institutional partners here in Addis Ababa. From the LSE, Emily Cruz, Tim Nitt, Tim Nitt Ishetu, Bridey Addison Child, other side, <laughs> Tao Tavengwa, Marco Di Nunzio, Peter Griffiths, Rosie Havner, mm -hmm. Alexandra Gomez, and Cal de Bella. From the Alfred Herzen Gesellschaft, I would like to thank Elisabeth Mansfeld, Anja Paulus, and watching us from Berlin via the live stream, Matthias Weber. Also, I would like to thank each one of you for making this a vibrant, a constructive and fun gathering filled with ideas, with insights, and with exemplary dedication to improving the lives of city dwellers. I think this deserves a round of applause too. Now, <clears throat> I said in my opening remarks yesterday that I hope that you all take something valued away from these discussions. And I'm in no position to tell you what that something should be. So I'm not going to try and give you anything like the key takeaways from this conference for your way home. But I would like to share with you one personal reflection and I hope that even after two intense days, you will indulge me just for a few minutes. I was very struck by a number of things. Um, and one thing I would like to share with you, and that is a remark that Christian Benimana from Kigali, Rwanda, made several times. He said something to the effect of, in Rwanda, we're very conscious of a very dark chapter in our history and we feel a heightened sense of responsibility towards our people and towards our neighbors because of that. I come from Germany, and I would argue that for us Germans, this has been true for decades as well. We are very aware of one, actually two, dark chapters in our recent history, and we have been feeling a strong sense of responsibility out of that. What is worrying me and many of my fellow Germans now is that it seems that some of us are starting to forget or even deny these dark chapters and the responsibility that arises out of it. This has been changing the nature of public debate in ways we would not have imagined 10 years ago. The debate has become more polarized, 
more aggressive, and more personal. Here, we've, uh, we've heard, I've heard from several of you, the appreciation in the last two days of this very open debate. I'm very happy about this because as an organization, the Alfred Herrhausen Gesellschaft has been convening and curating these debates for more than 25 years. Now, I hope that when we all look to tackle these enormous challenges that we've been describing, that we retain this open spirit, that we exchange and debate, argue fiercely at times, even picking a fight to Gautam's point, but that we argue about ideas, not about persons, that we listen and reflect, and that at the end of the day, we are happier with compromise than we are with winning. And on that note, again, I would like to thank you all very much and wish you all the best. Thank you.